Hello and welcome to This is Psychology. I'm Dr. Norman Anderson, CEO of the American Psychological Association. Today I want to talk about new research into the mental health of very young children and the need for better diagnosis and care. Contrary to popular belief, infants and toddlers can suffer serious mental health disorders, yet because of the pervasive but mistaken impression that this can't happen, many very young children with mental health disorders don't get the help they need. In a special section of the APA journal American Psychologist, researchers looked at how infants and children under the age of five can develop mental health problems and what our health care system can do to help. Scientists used to think that very young children didn't have a mental life. They thought that such children were immune to early adversity and trauma because they are resilient and would, quote, grow out of it, unquote. However, later research has shown that even very young children can react to the way they are treated, and if they are treated poorly or live in poverty, they definitely suffer which could have lasting effects on their mental health. In one article in this special section, Dr. Ed Tronick of the University of Massachusetts at Boston and Dr. Marjorie Beagley of Wayne State University found that depending on how they are treated by parents and other caregivers, some infants may start to think of themselves as helpless and hopeless and become apathetic, depressed, and withdrawn. Psychologist Dr. Joy Osofsky of Louisiana State University and Dr. Alicia Lieberman of the University of California at San Francisco found that because early childhood mental health has very few practitioners, it's often difficult for parents to find the help they need. And if they do find such help, the cost of preventive services or treatments for children under the age of three may not be covered by insurance or other resources. The researchers had several recommendations. One was to expand early screening for infants and toddlers to detect mental health issues, such as relationship disorders, depression, and self-regulation problems. Another recommendation was to train professionals in mental health, pediatrics, early childhood education, child welfare and other related professions to recognize risk factors and ensure that curricular at all levels include content on infant mental health. They also recommended that we integrate infant mental health consultations into programs for parents, child care, early education, well child health services, and home-based services. And finally, they recommended that we address insurance and Medicaid payment policies to provide coverage for prevention and treatment of mental health issues for infants and toddlers. For more information on this subject and to read any of these important papers, please visit our website at apa.org. And thanks for watching. This is Psychology.